recently, the Department of Treasury, where she was the immediate past senior policy advisor. Is, is democracy, I know it's an over asked American question, but is democracy compatible with the Middle East? You know, every country, every society, I think, has their own very important context. And I don't, you know, I, what I don't, the problem that I have is with the United States trying to push a particular system, whether it's democracy or something else, onto another culture, onto another society. We have tried this from Vietnam to the Middle East to Latin America, and it has never worked for us. So I don't think it's something that you could say is just about Arabs or Muslims or Middle Easterners that's a problem. The problem is the United States trying to impose a political order on another society, on another country, in another context. Now, particularly in the Middle East, this is very problematic. Because people in the Middle East don't support a strong central government, whether we call it a dictator or a strongman, they don't support it because they're stupid. They support a strong central government because the societies often have serious divides within them, serious religious divides, ethnic divides, sectarian divides. And what we saw happen in Iraq when we went in, when we invaded Iraq without a plan to topple Saddam Hussein, for as bad as he was, he was keeping the country together. He kept the country together in terms of ethnic terms, religious terms, economic terms, political terms. When we got rid of Saddam Hussein without an alternative, there was chaos and bloodletting. Literally 85,000 Iraqis died after the invasion. From 2004 until today, at least 85,000 Iraqis have died. That's why a lot of people support strong central government and not necessarily free-for-all you know, democracy as we see it. It's not because they're stupid, it's because they have a vested interest in stability, law and order, and safety in their society.